Hi, I'm Jeffrey McKay, Chairman of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. When the Board of Supervisors makes decisions about the budget, land use, transportation, and other local issues, we never do it alone. Community engagement is essential to good governance. One of the many ways to engage and make your voice heard in local government is by testifying at a public hearing. Here's how to share your comments with the whole Board of Supervisors through the public hearing process. The public has the opportunity to offer their input on land use applications, annual budget hearings, and other agenda items that are presented to the Board of Supervisors. Your involvement in the decision-making process is essential, but first you must get informed. Details on land use applications may come as an official mailed notice, a conversation with a neighbor, or a yellow sign posted on a property. Residents can also get information from the county's website and social media platforms, advertisements in the Washington Times, community newsletters, or their local supervisor's office. Additional information on each application, such as the staff report, development plans, and conditions, will be posted online prior to the scheduled public hearing. These documents will give you background information, as well as staff's formal analysis of the application. If you wish to comment on an application, there are several ways to do so. For those who are unable to make it to the public hearing but still want to weigh in, you can submit your written testimony to the clerk's office via email or by mail through the U.S. Postal Service to be reviewed by the Board of Supervisors. To comment on an application in person at the Board of Supervisors meeting, sign up by either filling out the speaker's sign-up list on the Board of Supervisors clerk's webpage or by calling the clerk's office at 703-324-3151. Registered speakers who have presentations that require audio-visual support must contact Fairfax County Channel 16 prior to the meeting. When testifying in person, come to the Government Center at the scheduled time for the public hearing. All hearings are held on the main floor in the Board Auditorium, which is just to the right as you enter the Government Center. Paper copies of the agenda and a list of registered speakers for each application are available as you enter the auditorium. For individuals requiring ADA access, take the elevators down to the first floor and follow signs to the Board Auditorium. Have a seat inside and wait for your application to be called. While the public hearing for your application will never start before its scheduled time, it may start later than shown on the schedule due to other items on the agenda. If you did not sign up in advance, you can still comment on the application after the list of scheduled speakers have testified. When the application is called, the staff and the applicant will give a presentation. There may also be some discussion regarding the application. After that, the chairman will announce the beginning of the public hearing and ask speakers who have signed up in advance to come towards the front of the board auditorium. When you hear the chairman call your name, approach the podium. Please give any documents, such as letters or photos that you would like to submit for the board's review, to the clerk who is seated to the left of the podium. You'll notice the podium is equipped with a timer, microphone, television screen, and an area to put your notes. Please be mindful of the time because the clock will be ticking. Individuals are given three minutes to speak and those speaking on behalf of organizations are given five minutes. Once your time starts, state your full name and address and proceed with your testimony. When time is up, you'll hear a beep and see a red light come on. This signals you to promptly wrap up your comments and conclude your testimony. That's it. You can return to your seat and stay to see the vote and outcome of the application. Thank you for your contribution to the decision-making process in Fairfax County.